All right, welcome back. So last episode we found the doctor. Next obvious stop is the police station. That's just right across the street. Had a little run-in with the police. Got away from that. We're a-okay-ish at the moment. Give me a thug. Maybe I will follow up on that today since we're around the area. There's there's volley territory. Gonna avoid that main quest as long as we can, though. Funnily enough, though, I think that's the apartment complex I've already broken into, so that could be redundant. We'll see if we get... We might get around to this, that this episode, depending on how long it takes to deal with this problem. Anyone around? Alright, so right through here. Kay and Bones are being held in the makeshift police station just outside Monument Metro. This is my best and only chance to get them out before they get moved elsewhere worse. Yep. The things I do for free media and love, I guess. How do I even get up there? We'll try the side path and see how it turns out. The map doesn't currently indicate nearby units. They're probably right down there. Yep. There's the police station. Is that the only way in is the front door? Because that would not necessarily be ideal. There's a sewer here. Could always check just to see if there's... No, probably not. No. <laughs> nope. It's always worth checking to see if there's some sort of subterranean access we can use. It's funny that Jensen's just given up on normal clothes now and he's just running around in his crazy cyber mode. Like, he's just constantly has, like, bare, exposed, uh, false limbs everywhere. Oh. Watching for those vision cones. I, got, I chose the right time to get that upgrade, didn't I? So no one seems to be checking in on this. I guess I'll just head right down. I've already broken into this place before. Okay. May need this. Like those old documentaries? The journalists aren't the revolution, man. We're just augmenting the message. And the message is still No, there's no one here. It's just the guys it's just the guys that are locked up. They're just shouting a lot at nobody because no one's here. Crafting parts? Wait, what? Have I not? Have I not been here before? I feel like I would have grabbed all this stuff already. At the very least, the crafting parts. Take a quick look around while this guy continues to shout at things. Hello. Maybe I haven't been here before. Maybe they're restocked. Okay, the fact that these are all open makes me think I've been here before. <laughs> makes me think that I've been through here, grabbed all their stuff, and then they restocked as part of the story. Because this is the military location. Hello. Yeah, my inventory is pretty full right now. Should be going to the vendor regularly to f update it, but I mean, let's be honest here. What use do I have for the money anyway, besides just feeling good about getting more money in a video game for the sake of it? That's all we're getting out of here. Is there a secret vault here? What's your secret? I don't have your code, but you're easy to hack. Let's click everywhere. We. <laughs> They'll never get me now. Trace program huh. initiated. T Twenty-three seconds before I get caught. Not exactly a risk. All right. Did I just unlock their gates by doing that? I actually wonder what that was hooked up for. I would assume the gates. Hello, painkillers. Who's out? Who's in this cell? Our old no one. They used one cell for everybody. The That's kind of funny. I can't even you see him through here. From state police to police state. Okay, so no conversation till I open the door. It looks like. Hello. You. I knew it, man. I knew you were one of them all along. Do I look like I'm one of them? I can feel my hands right now, but if I could run a search for shadowy extra government agent on the net, pretty sure it's all you. Fair point. What happened? You pulled the freedom of information speech on the state police? Ha fucking ha. They didn't wait for a speech, man. Lesson learned. Smash the state before the state smashes your nose. Little K asked me to get you out. She's the K now, man. I'm a liability to Sammy's dad. She cares about you, Yarrick. She didn't want to leave you or Bones behind. Always was a cool cat, man. One of the good ones. 
She wrote the wheels come off 16 years ago and the conspiracies just keep checking out. Everything except the gray aliens, but who's to say that's not a metaphor? If she wrote the book... Ah, uh, 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 I don't believe in authorial intent. You told me you were a liability to Sam's dad. How do you figure that? Because the cops burn me, man. Exposure is death. They didn't have to ask a single question. Just took my DNA off their knuckles. My high school dropout date, my sister's parking tickets, my dark neck proxies. Oral cemetery. Oral cemetery? They didn't get a lot of mainstream airplay. Anyway, a little case shouldn't have sent you. Sammy's dad has to be bigger than any man or woman. Sammy's dad is bigger than you now, Yarrick. The resistance reached further than you planned for. You want to fall on your sword? There's a better place to do it than in a holding cell. Whoa, whoa! You know I use the term liability real broadly. I warned you about picking a fight with Pikus. They've got a lot invested in protecting the message. Would I be talking to you now if Pikus had got to us? I mean, does Eliza Kassan have a sense of humor? All those bombs going off lately, what's one more in the sewers? A BTW? Those are all rhetorical questions. You don't say. But they're trying, man. Bones heard the cops talking about extraordinary rendition. What a wonderful connected world we live in, when they can pin an acronym on you, ARC, NSF, who gives a right sass, and ship you off to a black site on the UN's credits. Just how many states are you an enemy of? All the corporate ones. I might have known you wouldn't keep your heads down during the riots. This is what a radical news source lives for, man. Lives and dies for. But the helmets on the streets, the extreme peacekeeping, that's not about the Gollum riots. How are the Ogs gonna get over here? Carpool? No. Someone, somewhere, wanted the cops to clean house in Prague. And this is just the beginning. What if they could call martial law anywhere, anytime? Cops without borders. That's your prediction, huh? You can take it to the bank, man. The Palisade Property Bank. There's a way out of Prague for you both. The Samizdat Resistance has organized everything. We just need to keep our heads down and get to the cleaners nearby. The cleaners? <laughs> Irony. Wait, you mean going through the cops? So I can either leave them here and clear out the cops and then tell them to leave or I can say play it cool <laughs> and try to have them oh god guns blazing will get them killed they're not soldiers play it cool maybe they can stop being idiots and just wear the uniforms do the uniforms have helmets ah <sighs> So I'm torn slightly because, part, you know, video games are an entertainment medium. Wait here seems like the safest, most obvious way to make sure it'll actually get done, because I can knock all the cops out with, like, tranquilizers and run away and stuff, and can probably guarantee their safety, but play it cool sounds really entertaining, because if they have to wear uniforms, maybe I have to do, like, a speech thing where I use my Casey augments to go through their stuff. But, to trick them into thinking, like I have to convince them, or maybe it doesn't work, I don't know, but I'm curious how it plays out. Guns blazing is a terrible idea. There's a police locker in the corner that should be stocked with uniforms. Find something that fits, and try to look convincing. We need the cops to think you're one of them. Tell me there's helmets, tell me there's helmets, tell me there's helmets. They're gonna recognize them if there's not helmets. That's not a helmet. Ah, shit. Good. It's time to go. With that beard and hair, that can't work out. They're coming with me? Oh no. Let's just go ahead and make a new save. <laughs> I don't think this ends well for us. Are you, you don't even have a gun? Arenka, wait, what? You got that piece done yet? It's Arenka Bauer? She's the, she's the girl from... Arenka. Isn't she the girl I didn't give the ID to? Like, one of them's currently at the base already, and she's the one I didn't give it to, so she's here. Except now I'm at risk of losing her. That's a bad idea. Okay, well, this isn't gonna end up well, so... 
Let's maybe be ready for some traps. Smoke, concussion. I think smoke might be the best option for just dealing with the wave of notifications. This can't go well for me. Did it work? Did it actually work? Okay. That's unnerving, because uh, they're... They're going to Prekaska. And they're just walking through, maybe it'll work? I can't actually follow them, because there's so many police here that I can't... And I didn't get to... Why didn't I get to put a uniform on, by the way? Why wasn't... Why couldn't I go with them? This is really unnerving. I guess I'll just find out later whether they made it. Which is not, not an option I'm psyched about. What is that character doing? They look like they're running around. Do they know where to go? I don't know, all those cops ignored them. I, I think I just have to hope things work out. I think we'll find out when I get back to that part of the city what the result was. Let's see. Um, That's a super guarded place, so I can't really go that way. I'm probably going to have to go back towards the Red Queen. At the moment, I think I can go ahead and pass on Give Me a Thug. What's this thing saying? Meet Simon's dad at the rendezvous. Which is not there. So, Give Me a Thug, I'm going to ignore for now, because my next main objective is right, objective's right there. I might as well just get there at that time. So, let's see if I can sneak back into that train station that got me here in the first place. Which was, uh... Where is it? Right up there. Okay. It still says to meet them there. It's weirding me out. Surely that's been updated, right? Meet Arenka at the rendezvous. There's no way I could leave poor Arenka Bauer locked in that tiny jail cell by herself while orchestrating an escape from a police station gone wrong. You take everybody. Sure. Hope they make it to the rendezvous. I think that's it. So we, we know the secrets about what happened with our, our killer. And we let out our prisoners. And, uh... Have to just hope our killer doesn't kill more people in the meantime, and hope that our prisoners actually escape. Um, how do I get through here? Is that blocked off? Can I get... Oh, I can go around here? You shouldn't be outside tonight, Adam. Prague is no longer safe. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I'm looking at a police barricade right now. They will not let you pass. But I can help with that. I suggest you take cover. Eliza, what do you have in mind? So. Now is your chance to get past them. Oh my god. Be careful, Adam. I do not want to lose you. Oh shit, I didn't see him. Crap. I didn't know we were suddenly gonna get a bunch of weird plot things happening. Crap. That was a mistake. Wow, there's a lot of them here, aren't there? Ow. Ow. Okay, nope. 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 Every component of what I just did was bad. <laughs> I haven't been in a combat scenario in so long. I go, f I focus so heavily on stealth and everything. I actually, when I, when combat shows up, I'm like, I don't actually know what I'm doing right now. This is weird. <laughs> I mostly just sneak past everything and talk to people. <laughs> well, rerun. Eliza, what do you have in mind? Something. Now is your chance to get past them. Be careful, Adam. I do not want to lose you again. Jensen, you still alive out there? Yeah, just made it to the main district. Any luck with the search warrant? State police aren't even taking my calls. I'm afraid you're on your own this time. Story of my life. But I got it, don't worry. Miller, the Diwali owned most of the apartments surrounding the old theater, isn't that right? Yeah, and they're very possessive of them. So if you're thinking of getting in that way, uh, It's gone a little further than just thinking. Then expect it to zip straight past peaceful negotiation the minute they see you. Jensen, you said Marchenko needed to finalize a deal, right? With the Diwali, yeah. Not a lot to go on, I know. Maybe not. But these guys are the best smugglers in the world. Which means a lot of forged paperwork. You might find something in Kingpin's office. Assuming I can find that. 
That's what happened. I'm just on my way to the train station, but I happened to run by the front door of the Diwali area, which is this little passageway here, which I've never seen before because I snuck in other ways in the past. Uh, but I'm actually trying to get to the train station. That said, depending on how well guarded this place is, which it might not be because I wiped out chunks of it already, uh, I might be able to get back to that one open... Oh, right, I can't get through there because of the gate card. Never mind. Right, that whole... That whole thing's happening. That's too bad. Because I was thinking, uh, there's that one side path I know about with the sewer, which could have gotten me in. But I don't have that kind of access. Are they unfazed by a door opening? Weird. Politely look any other direction. They're just kind of staring over here, huh? Alright, I may just have to go invisible for a bit. It lasts a decent amount of time now, thankfully. Alright, uh... Someone's nearby, yes, can confirm. <laughs> uh... Still past here. That's a start. I'm about to get spotted. Alright. Get off the wall. Uh right here on my right. Go, 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 go. Hit. Made it. Damn. Good thing the game's probably almost over, because getting around in this town is becoming a problem. Alrighty then. Just read right back into this place, which I'll then have to get back out of afterwards. Go for a leisurely stroll. Alright, so I took a train to the southern area, then I took a train back to the northern area, but for the central train station. Of course, the entire reason I took a different train in the first place was an attempt to not have to deal with all the guards, but then I dealt with a bunch of guards, so I guess this was all kind of moot in the first place, but... Despite sending them in this general direction, they seem to have not made it to Samus Dot, and instead are at one of these places along the way here. So are they gonna be in this train station right here, or...? I don't know where they are. I, I don't know where they are. Uh... I don't know, man. I don't know. I might have to look this one up, because I'm, I'm confused a bit. Uh, they said to meet the Sam... I was supposed to meet them at the rendezvous location. But then they didn't... Like, the, the, the waypoint is still at the... Uh... Still at the train station... At the, at the police station. And they have they left the police station. I saw them do that. So I don't know where they went? I thought... Maybe I missed a piece of dialogue, but I thought they were just going to go back to the uh, newspaper location. Maybe I'll go revisit Samus Dot, and maybe they are there, and maybe that waypoint just hasn't updated, and is sending me back here for no reason. Well, one thing I can follow up on is looking for our crazy murderer friend. They may not be able to find where the Samus Dot people are, which I'm gonna, I'll, I'll look into it. I'll figure out where they are by next episode, I think. But in the meantime, we can look into our murder friend, which we went to that location in the first place to find out more about, and found out that she has... A... Okay, that's in the way. That she has another consciousness in her head, which is a problem. So, she has a bit more excuse, perhaps, than we hope, than we thought, but... What's going on? Oh, thank God! I knew you'd find me! We must hurry, before he comes back! Before who comes back? The man who killed Angela Gunn? Yes. He knows you're after him. He wanted you to come. What kind of top is that? What? Like, so it's like... It's like a brazier or whatever you want to call it. I don't know how to pronounce the word, honestly. But then it's like a bunch of transparent fabric everywhere. But then it has a collar. But not like a cute little bow tie collar, but like a weirdly, like, huge blocky collar. <laughs> It seems like a really strange design. So I can either play along with their delusions or confront them, and I don't know how that'll end well. If I can play along long enough, maybe I can say the right phrase and dis disable the chip without actively confronting her yet. So where is he? He's everywhere. Can you not feel his presence? Are you not scared? Why did he bring you here? What does he want? 
he's using me to get to you. He thinks that by removing your augmentations, he can make you whole again. Quickly, come closer. Help me to get out, and then deal with him. Please, I beg you. Uh, no. She's probably not even tied. She probably has her hands free and is ready to stab me or try to EMP me or something. It's interesting that she kept disabling people with EMPs, though. Didn't she have an aug- Wait, actually, she's not augmented, is she? She's just her brain. I need to know where he is first. How long ago did he leave here? Which way did he go? You've got to be joking. We don't have time for all these questions. If he knows I spoke to you, he will kill me. Please, my ankle. Come closer. You must help me escape. This is so clearly a trap. What? I know what you are. I came, I came here to take down a killer. No. Okay, no, it's time to confront then. You can drop the act, Daria. I know what's going on here. I know there's no one else out there. I ran into an old friend of yours. The name Cipro mean anything to you? You mean Dr. Cipro? Where did you dig him up? He's worried about you. He's worried about himself. He's worried about Taeyong Medical. They're willing to kill to cover things up, to preserve their precious image. Their reasons are savage compared to mine. That one, uh, turned fast. Let's see if the keyword helps. Otherwise, he might not be savable. I don't believe this is who you are. Something changed in you after Cypress surgery. Made you do things you would never have done otherwise. For reasons that aren't your own. But it's not too late. Don't be so naive. I am who I've always been. Cypress surgery, all it did was give me access to another man's technique. His courage to follow through. I can still help you. Oh, shit. <laughs> You never have to remember anything in this game, and suddenly it's like, hey, remember what he said? I sure hope you remember what he said. <laughs> okay. Also, it's really hard. It's definitely harder to protect somebody when even they uh, are arguing that they were always this way. Anyway, I don't know if the number's a trick or anything, but I do remember him saying ad hominem. Ad hominem 2026. Is... is... <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> is... is that how machines pray? Listen to me. The neural chip that Dr. Sipper installed in you is in the process of shutting down. Try to focus. This version of you that's been hurting people. I don't believe that was really you. Then... Then you don't know me very well. Why? Why should this change anything? The procedure gave me access to memory banks that weren't my own. The choice to draw on those memories was mine alone. You... You... You can't take them from me. The shutdown process may take some time. There may be lingering effects, but that doesn't mean it's too late to help you. <laughs> you really believe that, don't you? All right. Prove it. Approach me. Come closer. Save me from all those horrible things Dr. Sipra did. There's nothing to be scared of, right? Surely whatever trace of the har harvester was inside me is gone now that you've said the magic word. Ah, uh, dun dun. You obviously need more help than I can offer, but that doesn't mean it's not out there. Whatever power the neural chip had over you should be diminishing now. You should be able to fight whatever urges Svoboka's memories inspired in you. I... I don't need help. You do. You need to be sa sa saved. All orgs need to be saved. Svoboka inspired me to... to... I can make you human again. I have to make you human again to atone for what I am. That's not easy. She seems to be jumping between personalities and like struggling with what to even think. And as as it shuts down, it's hard to say what's gonna stay, what's gonna be left, <clears throat> what's gonna be left behind. 
At one point he said she said something that was alpha, then the other one was it was both beta and omega, like she was all over the place. So it says she's sadistic, defiant, and inhumane. Subject's personality traits are those of Merrick Zvotka, the original harvester killer. Whatever part of the real Daria uh, Mishka that now remains has long lain dormant, she must be found. So the best results for Omega, which is what showed up the most, I believe, is humanize. Let's see the options here. Differentiate. You're not the harvester. Zvotka's personality is overwhelming your own. You're acting like him, killing like him, justifying it all in the same sick ways he used to. Try to remember the days that you just uh, first walked into Zebra's office. You were someone else. Humanize. The notion that augmented people need saving, that they're less than human. Angela Gunn was a human being. Her humanity was defined, uh, defined by her ideas, her passions, her causes she believed in had nothing to do with being augmented. Victimize. The victim, uh, you're the victim of scientific hubris of a procedure that should have never taken place. You're not a killer. Your experimental treatment cut too many corners and didn't follow up on what it should have. You've been let down. I think that showed up at the very least and is probably the least effective option we have here. This notion you got that augmented people need saving. That there's something less than human. Look, I didn't know her. But I guarantee you Angela Gunn was a human being. Her humanity was defined by her ideas, her passions, the causes she believed in. It had nothing to do with whether or not she was augmented. Svobodka never saw them as individuals. To him, they were victims of an age that terrified him. Mirror images of the monster he had become. He believed the entire race was under attack, that mechanization would keep our souls from migrating. How does that sound like to you when you say it? Migration of the soul, victims of an age? I'm not talking abstract concepts here. I'm talking about people. Svobodka never saw his victims as human beings because it would have made it impossible to do what he did. He was sick. He was scared. Whatever he was, he was no savior. You're right. The more he killed, the easier it became. That is why he had to repeat the actions, ritualize them. It was a way of justifying his beliefs. If you kill one man, the memory is like an anvil. If you kill seven, you quickly forget the first. It all starts to seem inevitable. Surely it must be obvious to you by now. The Daria you came here to save no longer exists. She hasn't for a long time. All that remains now is his drive, his legacy, his cause. She says that, but it's clearly not true. It's just been pushed under her. In fact, that's... That's why she's so okay with killing is because she has all those memories. They explained the idea that, like, one kill was hard for him to bear, so he kept killing them over and over again in the same way to d dampen the memory, basically. And because the memories have been put in her, now she has the same thing. She's been exposed to so many of the kills in first person as if she did it that now... It doesn't have weight for her anymore, but those memories are draining away because we remo we're removing them, and at that point, all that's left is the person she was, and she can't necessarily see who she was right now. But once all those memories of those uh, of all those kills are gone, she may be horrified by her actions once the weight comes back. So you can say his cause, not yours. I don't know the extent to which you're responsible for your actions, whether you chose to be like him or whether it was out of your control, but you are different. Recognize that and start distinguishing his motives from your own, which is fitting enough and it seems close to what would work. This continues to be what would not work. Svotka was all about exuding power over people. That was the only uh, cause he cared about. He made himself uh, feel strong by making others helpless. That's exactly what he's done to you. Only you can accept that. Or once you accept that, uh, maybe you can start to forgive yourself. You know, victimizing seems to be the worst possible scenario for this situation here. Fabotka didn't have a cause. He was a serial killer. Acting out on impulses that he tried to couch in spiritual rhetoric. A way of convincing himself that his actions were justified. But they weren't. No amount of faith or abstraction makes it okay to dehumanize people the way he did. No. No, it doesn't. But so what if you're right? So what that Svobodka's motivations cannot stand up to scrutiny? His actions, my actions, cannot be justified. Where does that leave me? If those others did not deserve to die, then I deserve to die. It's not for me to judge you. 
I want smarter people than me to look into this neural procedure you underwent. Dig into Cipra and Tai Young. So you're offering me a fair trial? I'm not offering anything. But if there's any hope of moving on here, not killing anyone else is a good start. Society has every right to judge you, and it also has a right to hear all about Cipra and Tai Young Medical. I'm not an expert on extenuating circumstances, but I'd say you have an interesting case. You were right before, about the override process taking time. I can feel him receding. Memories of, of memories no longer crashing against me like they did. Let me prove it to you. Come closer. I want at least one person to know that I'm no longer what I was. How's this for trust? Oh, man. This could go so poorly. This could go so poorly, but if I, d if I don't... If I don't believe her, that could also go super poorly. This actually seems like a really binary choice where I don't know what the outcome's gonna be. And that's rough. But yeah, the uh, what happened to her is actually... It's not the same situation, but it's comparable, sort of, to the... the uh, the Great Aug incident, where people's brains were used against them and people were manipulated into killing each other. She's kind of fallen victim to a similar situation. All right, Daria, we need to get you out of here for real now. This needs to end. The version of me who did those things to Angela, I, I cannot even imagine it being me, even though I, I know it was. Whatever happens now, whatever the authorities decide, I hope you believe me. Is it a trap? Is it a trap? Is it a trap? What's going on here? Whoa. What the hell am I interrupting? Detective Montag. Daria's got a story to tell you. How you react may have something to do with your thoughts on experimental neural therapies and big medical conglomerates. I don't understand. Where is the harvester? I, I want to turn myself in. One of you really needs to start explaining. I want to confess to the killings of Angela Gunn, Misha Voracek, Pavel Klima, and Leonie Wolf. I also need to tell you about the neural procedure I underwent. It involves Tai Young Medical and a man named Dr. Nicholas Sipra. I hope you'll listen. You can handle this from here. Just listen carefully to what she has to say. Whoa, he's like inside All my right, face. Daria, I think you should start at the beginning. Two years ago, I signed up for a program sponsored by Tai Young Medical. They said they could help people to become better versions of themselves. It all feels so long ago now. Another lifetime. I suggest you remember everything you possibly can about this procedure you underwent. Who was involved, when it happened, I'm, I'm not that person anymore. I swear to you. Take your time. For now, nothing's going to happen until I get the full story. Did it? Sh <laughs> All right, let's just grab that real quick. I can't. Technically, you should grab that, police officer. All right, never mind. Uh, I think that was a random animation that just started happening. But she randomly drew a cigarette and started smoking. Like, first of all. She confessed to murder. People are usually jumpy about sudden moves into your pockets for stuff like that, but also I don't think she has pockets to keep cigarettes and a lighter in in the first place. So she just magically spawned a lighter, which she then blew the smoke in his face, and then she threw the cigarette at him. I'm like, what are you doing? This is not really helping your case right now. But I think that was random. I think that was a random event that was that probably didn't wasn't supposed to happen. Hello. How many mines did you have placed around here? Wow, so those were all going to go off if things went poorly, huh? Turning myself in is for the best. I know that now. Oh wow, there's even explosives everywhere. That's alarming. Where's that beeping coming from? It's probably a proximity mine somewhere. This place is a nightmare. They should really get out of here before something goes off. Wow, this place is mostly bombs. I'm gonna get out of here before something goes wrong. So, uh, yeah. 
Ideally, I'd like to stick around and actually see that the whole thing goes through how it should and that the story gets told because I don't know how... I don't necessarily know how competent that guy is, but I think the main reason why they have Jensen uh, handed off is because then the player would have to hear the same story repeated multiple times, and it'd be also a whole lot more work to put in the game in the first place. But, uh, there we go. That seems to be the conclusion of the Har Harvester storyline. Uh, it might be the most complicated and interesting side quest in the entire game, just from the sheer number of different outcomes and paths that could have been taken over the time, over the course of it, depending on how many paths you took and how many things you followed up on versus just going on for the easy answer. It was basically a requirement that you that you be better than the police. It's actually really interesting because you've been spending this entire guy to game seeing the police force do a terrible job in the city and then they run you through the same test. Here's a killer. Find out who did, like here's a kill who find out who the killer is and then it's like you have to you can either rush to have a culprit or you can rush to have the, or you can take your time and make sure you get the right one and you pa sort of pass or fail this uh, similar test that all the other police here have been doing except those people are also anti-og and you're not is the one of the only distinguishing things that they can't replicate for jensen because jensen can't be anti-og not entirely at least it wouldn't really work <laughs> 